Hello guys, welcome back once again. And in this video, we will be seeing about JSP implicit object. Okay, and there are, uh, and this is just like an overview of the JSP implicit objects. Uh, so there are implicit objects like request, response, out, session, application, and config, page, and so on. Okay, so. The purpose of this JSP implicit objects is to we can directly use this implicit objects without any declarations. For example, uh, we have seen in servlets, right? Uh, it's okay. I'll just show you. Okay. As I said earlier, in the form we can re send a request uh, uh, for the servlets or even you can send to a JSP page. A JSP page has a capability of processing the request and producing the response. So here we have print writer out. Print writer is declared as out in JSP implicit objects whereas request HTTP server request as request server HTTP server response as response and the server context as application and server config as uh, config page and we can also there is an object for ex exception let, let us see one by one so I am using scriptlet okay. as I said earlier we can use the request object in directly in JSP pages inside scriptlets to request our get parameter okay. so for print writer there is an implicit object called out out dot print Time being, it will be blank. Let me run the project. So we can pass as index USB. As I said, uh, with this implicit object, we can get the request parameters. Whatever the SQL server request can be used as request to. In the same way, we can use response dots and redirect, which we used in uh, servlets to redirect to some other pages. Okay. Then for out, we are using uh, for the print writer, we are using the out object. Then uh, for the server context we have application as an implicit object which we will see in the next video for the page counter then we have a server config object then we can uh, we also having a, a page object page is nothing but uh, which is a reference for this so all the things which you have used for used in the servlet can be used in JSP also so this is just an overview so in the upcoming videos, uh, we will be using some of these implicit objects to demonstrate their purposes and that's it. Uh, this guys, uh, just like and subscribe. Thank you.